Hello everybody, it's just me LTM. I have a package today, so we're going to be doing an unboxing video today. This is my first package that I have purchased from AliExpress. I uh, don't know whether any of you order from AliExpress regularly, but this is my first time. And I have to say, when I told my daughter that I had ordered some goods from AliExpress, she said, Oh no, Mum, don't you know that's a scam? I'm like, oh, no, I didn't know it was a scam because on a lot of the pages that I'm on, I see people ordering stuff and receiving stuff from AliExpress. So, oh well, so this package has arrived. It only has one item listed on the, uh, the label that's on here. And I ordered quite a few items. So I'm not sure how many things are going to be in here. So come along, let's open this up and have a look. So here we are, I will open this up. Oh, a few different things in there. All right, everything's out. Sorry, you can see that I am I'm set up here where I have the yarn winder still set up. So you may have seen, I have done a video on how to use this yarn winder it doesn't belong to me it's a friend has uh, loaned it to me very graciously and I have been putting it to very good use so mm, lots of individual packets in here so I'm not sure how to open these I'm going to need the scissors again by the feel of it so it looks like all of the different things that I ordered are perhaps here I will have to double check against my orders and here's the first item. So this is a thimble. I really like the look of these. Kind of like the old metal kind of shade rather than brand newish looking. So I'm really happy with those. They're adjustable, so that's really handy. It doesn't matter what size your digits are, you will be able to get that to fit. So a couple of thimbles, that's really great. And now this one, most of these things are quite small. Considering it was my first order from AliExpress, I didn't want to risk ordering lots of big stuff. Uh, and then here we have this is a loom hook. I tried to buy one of these in Spotlight, which is a local big craft kind of store that we use here in Australia. And they did not have these. The label actually on the packaging says it's a crochet hook, but it's actually a loom hook because it just has the bent end. And this is for use with my knitting machine. And a another loom hook this little item I can't really tell what's in all the bags because everything's written in uh, an Asian language with using Asian characters right now this I will show you. I'm going to be um, taking these to it's craft night tonight and uh, I'm going to be taking these with me because I bought lots of these. They were very cheap. I bought lots of them so that I could share them with the girls in my craft group. I did get some particular ones for me um, but a lot of these a lot of these are for sharing. So this is going to be hard to show you but they are oh, this one I bought for someone in particular. But I think I may have bought two of these, so I'll open this one. Open this one up. These are for people who do crochet or knitting, and you put it on your finger and it holds the yarn, so it's kind of like a yarn tensioner. And this one, let's see if we can make the camera focus. This one is a little fox, so very cute. So I've bought a whole bunch of different ones of these. Some of them actually have, I don't know if you 
can see that one. Some of them have little loopy things which are specifically to hold the yarn and other ones it's just the design of the actual item. Right, that one's a this one is a swan and it's just a part of the swan that will catch the yarn as it's going past your fingers. So that's to help you with your tension when you're knitting and crocheting. I'm so happy that they arrived considering that it is um, it is craft night tonight. So that's fantastic timing. I okay. don't remember what this one's going to be. Not a lot of uh, leeway in the packaging, so I'll have to be careful how I cut this one, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> Most of what I could feel is actually the label. Ah, this I'm really keen to try. Again, this is labelled as a crochet hook, but this is actually called a nook. K N O O K. So it's a mixture between a crochet hook and a yarn needle. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the camera to show you this, but if you can see the end there is like a yarn needle. It's it's a needle, a hole in the end. So this is a very interesting idea. Do a YouTube search, you'll find some YouTubes on how to do nooking, K-N-O-O-K-I-N-G. Just looked really interesting and has some very, um, can be really useful again with the knitting machine that I have. So that's why I purchased that one. Again, don't have these in the local craft stores, so I couldn't buy one locally. All right, and this last package, I'm really looking forward to this. I have a very good idea what's in this particular package. Sorry for the noisy plastic, by the way. And that is a bit of a bugger. All of these things and all of these, all of this plastic. Mind you, I will take all of this plastic to uh, to our local supermarket who have a red cycle bin. So red cycle do recycle plastic to make things like street furniture benches and and tables and stuff like that so i will take this plastic there do not fear it is not going into landfill and this i'm really excited to receive this is a bag of pom-poms these are to go on the beanies that i've been making on my knitting machine and this was the main reason I went on to Aliexpress to have a look at what they had because I saw a number of people being asked where they got their pom-poms from and people saying that they had bought them on Aliexpress. So I have a range of different colours. You can see there's greyish ones here, whitish ones, there's a couple of black ones and the rest are brown. So I am very happy to have those. Open up the bag. Now, what I'm told with these is and this should be a loop that's how you attach them. I'm not finding the loop on this one. There's the loop. So you can see the loop on this one, and that is what you use to attach it to your item that you've made. And I believe that, I mean, it looked quite flat. So apparently what people do is get the hairdryer out, give it a blast with the hairdryer, and that makes them puff up really nicely. I did check in our local craft store, and they do sell these at about $4.50 each. However, they seem to have a hard polystyrene ball in the middle, whereas these, whilst it is firm in the middle, it feels like a squishable centre. Whereas the ones in the craft stop locally, of which I did buy one or two today, uh, they're very hard inside. So you can just imagine that being on your head if it bobbed around. It would, could hurt you, actually. A hard polystyrene ball inside. So if I give that a bit of a flap around already, it's starting to look much prettier than straight out of the bag. So 
I am really, really excited to have these so that I can add them onto the beanies that I have been making on my knitting machine. So there you go, that's what was in the bag. That was uh, quite exciting. When I had read on the label on the outside that it just said pom-poms, I thought perhaps it was just going to be the pom-poms, but it looks like everything that I ordered is there. So they did something called combined shipping where they wait till everything's ready, put it all in the one package and send it all at once. So AliExpress doesn't seem to be a scam. I will be certainly letting my daughter know that I received everything that I ordered and the time frame hasn't been overly long, you know, it hasn't taken months and months for it to arrive, so I'm quite happy with the time frame that it has arrived in. And I will certainly consider purchasing more and perhaps more expensive things from AliExpress from now on. Just to finish off, I wanted to say thank you very much to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. My channel has been taking off a little bit in the last month, which is fantastic. It's kind of taken me a bit by surprise and I'm a bit humbled by the fact that I've had over a thousand views this month and uh, about 19 extra subscribers. So if that's you, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. This is just something that I'm doing for fun. Now that I am semi-retired, I thought one of the things that I'd like to do would be to share some of the things that I'm doing on a YouTube channel. So thanks so much. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. It really makes my day when I see a new subscriber. I know, small things, but it makes me happy. Thank you so much.